Sup shitters, my name is Logan aka Spiderhands and welcome to an SP Patrons video. Today I'm making for Gil as part of their custom monthly music review um, of a track from an act named Chage and Asuka titled Say Yes. And if we switch over to here we have ourselves the track on the screen. We're going to listen through it from start to finish and we're going to hear what we think. Let's go, let's do it. Apparently this is a classic. Oh, this is very pretty. With the piano work as well as the um... Oh, that's a gorgeous tone to those keys. And the very, very light pianissimo string section there. Phenomenal vocal harmonies in these two individuals. The snare tone, dude, coming in with that slow ride there on that trip. It's phenomenal, man. The push. Oh. Oh, that's a classic little harmony there. I really need to get a little piano in here to fill out these harmonies. Are we going the one five two five one kind of route or something like that? They're doing call and response between the two of them. Excellent work. Nice way to build chemistry between singers who are on the screen. Is this the chorus though? Like, I'm confused. I'm actually confused now. Fantastic technique with the vibratos though. So it's like basically the composition here is following the vocal passage here. The instrumentalists are waiting for certain lines that the singers say in order to extend and go into the next section. Which is interesting because the vocalists aren't trying to fit into what the accompaniment is doing. Yeah, that's why we're switching here and everything's in unison with them. It's almost got a queenish kind of vibe to it, with these harmonized guitars in the background. Mm, nice accent of those string like sort of cascades. Yeah, I'm not sure which is the chorus. Is this the chorus or is it the outro of the chorus? Was that extended part before the bridge? Is there like a pre-chorus and then a bridge? Mm. I'm fascinated by it though. I want to know. I want to feel it out. I have to understand it. Say yes. Key solo here. Great alternative voicing there. It fits the tone well and the keys have been relatively subtle apart from in the intro for us. Intro to it. Not a massive fan of going that cleanly back into the chorus though. 
because at the same time it seemed as if the strings had a little bit of resonance there, like a resonant frequency, and then it kind of, it kind of it goes a little bit flat back into this part for my tastes. Definitely a pop song though. It fills that pop song real vibe really well. They got sultry sweet vocals though, don't they? They're like little pads, man. It's adorable, dude. It's adorable stuff. Little percussive. It's kind of unsettling, but I don't mind it because it's 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 on the right side and it's just a little bit of it. It kind of cuts out at this point. What do I think this track is about, though? I don't know, man. I don't know. Because this is my conclusion to this uh, review of Shage and Asuka's uh, Say Yes, uh, my custom monthly music review for Gil. Well, this track, I think, is maybe about uh, they're inviting someone to do something with them. And they've gone and sort of elaborated on it within all the different parts that I can't understand because it's in a different language. And then finally, they're like, say yes, because that's the thing. Come on, do it. Be optimistic. Trust us. This is going to go well. I love that vibe, that spontaneity, that adoration there, that beauty to that. It's a gorgeous sentiment. When I listen to this track by Shage and Asuka, their singing is, is wonderful. There's obviously, I think, I'm not sure which is which, who is who, but the, the guy in the beige, complete beige suit there was doing most of the main vocals and the guy in like the hat and everything was kind of doing the call and response kind of stuff where he'd harmonize with them, but they'd take terms. And I think that's wonderful. I think it's great to have a sort of a center lead vocalist who like, does maybe a certain style that works well for most of it but then they can't have the same vibe without that additional kind of t layer to that I, I think it fills it out so nicely you get like the kind of tale of two halves there and uh, it seems like they both want you to say yes and it's beautiful a great head and chest voice there it's like kind of a breathy kind of technique there uh we kind of had a lot of that slow building of the vibe almost a crescendo going on with some of those lines for a bit of emotional weight and uh, it seemed like they really care about what they were talking about. Really charismatic, vibrant performance. So good on them. The theme behind it was filled with all sorts of stuff. We had a really engaging sort of uh, motif begun with the, the piano at the start. And um, it was filled in by like the string section and a little tip a tap of some additional key parts there. We had the guitar, bass and drums came in later on as well. As, as, and including the strings, it was a full massive score, massive arrangement. But it never felt like too much and I, I kind of adore the fact that we managed to sort of niche all these different elements in, in a way where it didn't become overbearing or too co of sort of complicated for the listener. I adore that man. I think it's a fantastic choice there from Chage and Asuka. You know the theme behind it was loving and caring and tending with lo lots of little twists and turns in the harmonies you know. We had interesting decisions made with like pulling away a little bit with some of the beats and like adding extras in and we had interesting sort of transitions between like the verse and the bridge where we went up down up down almost to sort of reflect the tenacity and temperate nature of the relationship that they might have been in or the the, the 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 how do i say it the choppy waters that were going on where we weren't sure if we really wanted to commit to it you know and then the chorus kind of evens it out and balances it and i like how they come together in the bridge and there's just the one person and and the and the verse as if they're developing the vocals further towards that main point i think the solo section and near the end with just the keys there was nice it wasn't too elaborate or over complicated it was just an alternate voicing to what we had previously but i wasn't a massive fan of how like the strings were resonant so therefore when they came back in the chorus it had been mixed and mastered so well but unfortunately it's just that that, that last part sounded louder than the chorus and the problem with that is that that last chorus had everything in it so it just felt like a little bit of a, a drop if that makes sense in a way that i don't particularly i'm not particularly enamored with that said i do think that the track was composed well and written well the performances were excellent and engaging the thing i'm talking about with the drop in volume is simply a subjective thing that comes down more or less to the uh, recording mixing mastering like the production side of things where i think that overall it was very commercial had a great 80s tone to it especially with those snare drums and the reverb and the so the airiness airiness 
of uh not not the scary it's not scary kind but like the amount of air to the performance is lots of space and it was warm and romantic and ten and caring and pretty with lots of extensions there lots of sparkle and glitter in it from little extra parts in the mid to high range there with that focus aside from like the weird sort of resonance and the strings in the low mids it was wonderfully mixed eq'd and filtered the various instruments including the vocals as well they all had a nice place in the frequency spectrum and, and they were nice and wide in the stereo field and you know like the compression was constant so things were similarly loud which is again the issue i have with the resonant frequency where it seemed perceivably louder so it kind of drew me out of that the 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 compression limiting though was phenomenal it could have been that this track was up this video was uploaded and re-uploaded a few times so therefore the issue is that uh you have a bit of audio compression from youtube kind of screwing with that a little bit which is kind of a shame because it might have been what caused the weird perceived differences in the loudness between the end of that solo section going into that final chorus but all in all i'm very happy this is my first time listening to chage and asuka with say yes and uh it's a great song and effectively this is my review of this track um hopefully you enjoyed it if you did please do go check out their various social medias and uh, the youtube page and stay cool and stay safe please remember to support your local musicians and artists at this point in time as you need to help more than ever with all the crazy stuff going on the warden i will catch you in the next sv patrons video spider hands up